Hello and welcome to the Linux Room channel. Today we look at how to successfully install Blizz OS, the Android OS for PC, inside GNOME boxes. So go ahead and launch GNOME boxes, then select install from file, navigate to where you have the ISO file and select Blizz OS. Confirm the name is Blizz OS and under operating system we are going to select generic Linux and then make sure to select UEFI boot and the resources we give it 4GB RAM and 32GB of disk space and create navigate to Blizz OS installation we begin by creating partitions so select create or modify partitions continue with CF disk select GPT and then create the first partition the EFI partition 300 MB and then under type make sure it's EFI system and then we create a second partition this time around to take the old size and the type make sure it's Linux system and write type yes and quit all right now we begin the installation so here we have to select the EFI partition, select VDA1 and then we proceed to format FAT32, change this name to EFI and then confirm you want to format. Next we need to select the partition to install Blizz OS, select VDA2 and then for the file system select EXT4 and we can leave the name as Blizz OS and confirm you want to format. Confirm again whether you want OTA updates or not. And then we have two options for boot. So you can select Grab2 EFI Boot Loader or the R EFI ND Boot Manager. So I think Grab2 should be fine. Once the installation is complete, you have two options. You can either run Please OS that's continuing in the live environment or you can reboot to access Blizz OS that is installed. So I choose to reboot and then wait for it to reboot. Now you'll notice that uh, you are presented with this shell because it looks like the EFI boot partition or the grab has not been detected correctly. So we need to correct that. Uh, on this shell type exit and then you go to the UEFI system settings we need to go straight to the boot maintenance manager boot options and then go to add boot option you are presented with the two boot options here and then if you look closely at the second one you can see it as a cdr in the name so we select the first one which is the installed grab boot option and then go to efi navigate to bliss os folder and then select the grab x64 EFI that's the grab we want and then you can enter description you can call this bliss OS you can add additional details if you want and then commit changes and exit proceed to delete boot options and we need to remove all the other boot options except for bliss OS and make sure to commit changes then go to change boot order and confirm that Bliss OS is the only option or is at the top of the list. And then go back and save changes, shut down your system and restart Bliss OS again from the virtual machine. And this time round it should boot correctly. There you have it, the boot boot logo of Bliss OS. Now let's check out the OS just briefly. So you have the option to select which launcher you want. I'll go with the smart dock. Now let's go to Bliss about Bliss. You can check what Bliss is all about. There isn't much details. Let's close that. Let's go to settings and navigate all the way to about the device. 
and here you can see the bliss os logo confirm android 11 and bliss os 14. still on the desktop uh, you can check the play store to confirm that google apps can work if you want to download apps from play store we have the notifications on the right and that's basically blaze os you can explore it once you have it installed in your system thank you guys for watching